In today's video, I wanna give you some tips on how to record your online course with your smartphone. That's coming up. What's up, Digital Dads? Welcome back to the channel. If you are brand new here, my name's Kerry. I'm the founder of Digital Dads, and I created this channel to help dads escape the nine to five grind and create an online income through a digital course business. Today, I wanna give you some tips and kind of show you how to create an online course with your smartphone. How can you record the lessons? And I wanna attack the mindset or the misconception that you need like a fancy camera, you need saw all this fancy software. You can record your online course with just what is in your pocket with this phone. And I'll go beyond that just a little bit and show you some additional things uh, that you can do to kind of improve this. But I wanna start there with how to record on your phone. I think it goes without saying that phones today are incredible, right? They can be phenomenal cameras and the quality is so good that a lot of people or most people watching your online course might not even know it's a phone. So there's really nothing wrong with using your phone. And actually, there are so many tools that have come out to improve the quality of your phone video and audio that it's almost a no brainer to use your phone, especially for your first online course. I think the minimum uh, requirement would just be that you have a phone that records in like 1080 HD. That would probably be kind of the minimum you wanna go with. And that's plenty good enough for your course. The first tip I wanna give you, I know is a very simple one, but I've actually seen some students that I've been working with recently doing this, and that's one of the reasons I wanna address it. The first tip I wanna give you is to record like this in landscape mode with your phone. Uh, you wanna use the back camera, okay, and not, not the front camera. So record in landscape mode, not like this, okay? This is kind of the standard for videos, especially like YouTube or any kind of online course platform where you're gonna be uploading your videos, whether it be like to Vimeo or Wistia or any video hosting, you're gonna need to upload your videos like this and that's gonna make it look a lot more professional. So make sure you're in landscape mode, not portrait mode, tip number one. The second tip for you would be to get a little tripod for your phone. So you're looking at Amazon here, and I just wanted to show you when I search, you know, iPhone tripod, you can search just phone tripod if you have an Android phone. You're gonna see like a bunch of different options that come up. Any of these will work. Even this guy right here, that's like $9.99. All this will allow you to do is basically set up your phone on your desk and face you and kind of frame up the shot and just keep that steady. This will make it look like it's more of a camera and less of a phone, right? You don't wanna record your course holding your phone and like moving it around. You want it to be steady. So a couple options for you are, yeah, you could just set up some books or something on your desk to kind of make it face you. But if you wanna just invest just a few dollars and really get a tripod that that will help you out a ton. You could get something like this $9.99, this $20 one, or even this $14.99 one, uh, just to be able to set your, your phone on your desk, keep it steady, and frame up the shot correctly. This one tool will go a long way in making your course look a little more professional. Hey, if you're a dad working a nine to five job, or maybe you're working more hours than that, and you wanna get out of it, you wanna get online, make an income online, using your knowledge to help others and make an income for your family and have more time freedom, I wanna invite you to download my free ebook and audio book called How to Become a Digital Dad. It's simply me breaking down how I have built the life that I have for myself and my family over the last five plus years. You can download it completely free at kerryegler.com slash book or use the link down in the description. Back to the video. Another important thing to consider is your audio. They say that audio is as important as the video. Like when you're watching a video, you know, one of the things is if you have bad audio, people may tune out. So you wanna make sure that your audio is decent. It doesn't have to be like, you don't have to have a fancy mic like this. Uh, you don't have to have really anything crazy, but you do wanna pay attention to your audio. You wanna make sure it sounds crisp and clear and that you can hear it well and it's not like muffled or anything like that. The first thing I would say is, I know for an iPhone, I have an, like an iPhone, I think 11, I think I'm a, maybe one or two generations behind. Um, the, the microphone on the iPhone is really good. And you know, for your first online course, I don't think you need a microphone, especially if your iPhone is really close to you on that tripod. You're probably not gonna need, uh, you're probably not gonna need an additional microphone. Now, getting an additional microphone will level up the audio, but your iPhone has a very good mic built in. Now, I can't really speak for the Android phones. I know many years ago, I actually worked in cell phones for many years before I was into online business. The Android phone audio was way worse than the iPhone. The iPhone always had kind of a superior 
uh, microphone. I'm sure that the Android phones are great now, but if you do need better audio, if you listen back and you're like, this sounds really bad, maybe you put in some headphones and you're like, this is not doing it, you might consider investing into a phone mic that can actually plug in directly to your phone. So again, you see on, I'm on Amazon here, and what you see on my screen here is just a very inexpensive, this one's 35% off, $16 for this lavalier mic. And what it does is it plugs into your phone and then you can clip it onto your shirt. And this will improve your audio. One of the tips around audio is the closer you can get the microphone to your mouth, the better it will sound. So if your phone is way up here, right, and the audio, the microphone is here, the audio is not gonna be as good as if the microphone is right here by your mouth. So that's kind of what this, you know, lavalier style mic will do for you. Now, I don't have like a specific recommendation on this. You're welcome to do your own research and search Amazon. You can just search like iPhone microphone or smartphone microphone. It's gonna come up with, you know, a lot of different options for you that you can check out. You might put in iPhone, you know, lav, and that might pull up some more some closer options, you know, like this is kind of what we're looking for here, but definitely do your research, find one that you like. There are Bluetooth ones that you see here. Like these ones are actually Bluetooth. So they're wireless, which is cool. Just depends on how much you want to invest and you don't need to spend a lot. Again, just a 15, $20 mic can go a long way. And I don't even think you really need this unless, you know, you just have a phone where the audio is not very good. So test it, listen back and see how it sounds. The last thing I want to talk about is recording your computer screen. This might be something you need. Depending on the course that you have, you might want to share your screen like I do in these videos and like I do in my courses. There are so many ways to record your computer screen, but I want to show you some free options and some uh, and one paid option that you can use uh, for this. But I'm going to show you some really simple options. So the first one is called OBS, Open Broadcaster Software. This is a fr completely free software. You can download it from Windows or Mac, and it'll allow it'll allow you to record your screen and actually save the video. It's a pretty simple uh, software. This is one you can use. Now, another option is to simply use, like on Mac, you can use the QuickTime Player. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna open QuickTime Player, and it's gonna pop up this window, but I'm gonna cancel out of that. And up here at the top, if I actually just go to File, I can do New Screen Recording right here, and I can just record my screen like that for free on Mac. And I don't know if there's a Windows equivalent of this, but this is actually just free built into the Mac and you can just record it right there. Now, you're gonna be recording on your iPhone the video, so you're gonna need to combine the video with that and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute, but this is a super, free, super simple and free option to record your screen. The last thing I wanna show you is a software called Loom. Now, I actually recorded my first online course with completely with Loom. The reason is what Loom allows you to do is it allows you to um, record your screen and it also puts your web cam on the screen and you can like move your webcam around and everything. So if you're recording with your computer uh, webcam or, or an external webcam and you have it plugged into your computer, this will allow you to do both at the same time. So this will lessen the need for editing. You actually won't really need to do much editing because you can just hit, uh, you can just start recording on Loom. You can record what's on your screen and you can record from your webcam and your microphone, whatever you're using. So I recorded my entire first course with my webcam, the built-in MacBook microphone and Loom. Now Loom does have a free plan, but it's capped at five minutes per video. So this software is going to cost you about $8 per month, but it's, Super simple, it relieves a lot of headaches. I'm a big fan and I still use it to this day for other things, uh, but this is a great place to start if you wanna record your first course. So those are my best tips around recording your first online course with your iPhone. I hope this was super helpful today. If it was, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications to get notified when we release new videos. See you soon.